getting a truly proper fit will require a little trial and error with your equipment at home. We recommend you do this during the day in a place where you can lie down just like you do when you sleep. While sitting upright, hold the headgear in one hand and the nasal pillow in the other. Place the nasal pillow against the base of your nose and pull the headgear over your head. The left and right headgear should fit over the top of your head while the back strap rests low on the back of your head. Remember, a good fit is not necessarily a tight fit. The nasal pillow should rest comfortably against the nostrils without causing unnecessary pressure. If you feel the nasal pillow is pushing too hard against your nose, the headgear is too tight. If there is space between the nasal pillow and your nose, the headgear is too loose. To adjust, release the Velcro on both sides of the back strap at the same time and pull to tighten or release to loosen. Once the nasal pillow feels comfortable against your nose, reattach the Velcro to the back strap. If the nasal pillow is pulling up on your nose or is hanging too far below your nose, you can also adjust the left and right headgear. Pull the loose end through the buckle at the top of your head to tighten or loosen the fit. Once you have a comfortable fit, turn your device on to begin delivering air pressure to the nasal pillow. With the nasal pillow, it is important to breathe only through your nose. If your mouth is open, you will experience a mouth leak. The device may try to adjust for that leak by increasing pressure, which will reduce the quality and effectiveness of your therapy. The other leak you need to be aware of is a mask leak. If you feel air escaping around the seal between the nasal pillow and the nostrils, you have a mask leak. You may also hear the rush of air escaping around the nasal pillow. If you notice air escaping, pull the nasal pillow away from your nose and reseat it, then adjust the headgear to get a proper seal. Be aware that some air is always being released through the vent on the front of the hose. You are looking for leaks between the nasal pillow and your nose. Many patients tend to over-tighten the straps in an attempt to get a perfect seal. Remember the headgear should be comfortable while still helping to maintain a good seal between the nasal pillow and your face. Once you have a good seal and comfortable fit, it's time to lie down on the bed and recreate your normal sleeping positions. This very important step will help determine if the seal is likely to be broken while you sleep. As you lie down and mimic your most comfortable sleep positions, check for leaks around the nasal pillow. You should also be aware of the position of the hose. Pay attention that the hose doesn't catch on part of the bed. A trapped hose might pull on the mask and cause a leak. You should also avoid lying on the hose. If airflow is even partially blocked, the device could malfunction and even shut down. Over time, you will learn to adjust the mask while in sleep, but getting a proper seal to start with will ensure your sleep won't be interrupted as often.